Hey everyone, today I will show you how to create a 3D printable set reducer model in SelfCAD. Let's start with the base of a model. With 3D sketching, we will create the counter of our model and later use Loft tool to convert it into a 3D object. First, switch camera to top and auto graphic projection. Note that we are doing this to turn the workspace into a canvas for the perfect sketch. Select 3D sketching, circle brush and start drawing profiles for the base. We need to make the profile smoother, which can be done in settings by increasing the value of edges, I set it to 64, turn on minimum step size in precision settings to get the most impressive and correct drawing. To start drawing, click to the center point of a grid and type 45. This will be the radius of our first circle. Now deselect the profile. Pay attention that it's a very important step, because if a profile will still be selected, 3D sketch tool will generate a new profile inside the first one. But we are here to do five different profiles, so let's move on with the next one. Increase the offset value to 10 and this will be the size of a step for drawing a new profile, which will appear 10 mm above the previous one. Now draw a profile with radius 60. Set the offset value to 25, create another profile with radius 6. And as you see now we have three profiles, each on different height. Create another profile with circle sketching with radius 55 and after that set the offset to 10 and create a new profile also with the same radius 55. At this point we are done with the base, so let's move to the top part now. It should be much shaper to love squeezing the juice. To achieve the sharpness set edges to 32 and offset to 15. Next, use circle drawing to create a profile with radius 30. We are done with 3D sketching for now. Close the tool and switch the camera back to perspective projection. As you can see in just few minutes, with 3D sketching we have created the base counter of the juicer. We have to increase the sharpness and achieve the star-like shape. Please notice that the best the fastest and the smartest way to do this is by using sub-element selection mode with selection mode and effecting vertices. Open vertex selection and turn on loop in the panel. Start selecting vertices, choose first two and let loop to continue with selecting all at once. Now turn on custom button and select vertices but skipping every second one. As you can see, we create a star-like shape. We need a few more to create the squeezing part of a juicer. For this, we will use copy offsets tool to create two copies a little higher. So open the tool and set Y to 25 and the number of copies to 2. Now click copy. For the next step, select the middle profile and open scale tool. Long keep proportion in advanced settings, set value of X to 50 and apply. Next select the top profile and set the X value to 25. Now we need to create the top part. Select the upper profile and use copy offsets. Set Y value to 10 and the number of copies to 1. Then copy. Now reduce the size of the profile by 3 on X and Z axis. And we are done with the profiles. We need to move some profiles to get the shape of the citrus juicer. Select the second profile and move it lower. Now select the third profile and repeat the action. Select the last one and move it as well. Finalize with selecting lowest profiles and moving them a little up. As you can see now, we successfully made a counter for our citrus juicer. So now we need to convert it into a 3D object. We need to use a loft tool for this. Start selecting profiles in order of creating one by one. Apply loft tool after selecting all the profiles. And here we are. We name the 3D model into Juicer. I will show you how to add the pattern on the Juicer. 
will use the self-cut text. I have already prepared the image and you can just download any image you want. Know that you need to use pictures with high contrast level for better quality and precision of the 3D model. So now open Image to 3D tool and click the Select Image button. You select your image and then if you don't see the main part of the image but this background, you need to turn on flip background. Also you can turn on anti-aliasing to do it more smoother. Then click finalize button. Now as you can see we need to reduce the size of it. For that you open scale tool and in advanced settings turn on clip proportion. And then set value of X to 40. Then move it to the left edge. Great! So now the last step left and we will resolve it. As you can see, the form of the juicer is cylindrical, but the text is straight. So we need to use bend tool to fix it. Note that bending only works on one axis, so we need to rotate it first to bend properly. For some models, it's suggested to add resolution to achieve the highest precision while bending. So rotate it by 90 on Z-axis and now perform bend tool with the origin metal for symmetrical bending. Set the value of Z to minus 40 and rotate it again by minus 90 on Z-axis to rotate it back and move it a little lower. Right, the pattern has been created. Now the last thing is to create holes for juice. For that, let's create cylinder. Switch to right view and auto graphic projection. Turn off, hide all objects and wireframe. And switch to wireframe viewport mode. We did it, so let's see which size we need for holes. Set the value of both radiuses to 3 and the height to 40. And click finalize. Then using the move tool move it a little to the left. And I will create two rows of holes for that use copy offsets with value of Y0 and Z10. Select first cylinder and also use copy offsets but with option pivot with number of copies 11. Pivot option allows to play all copies relative to the center grid point. Then select the second cylinder and use copy offsets again, but now with the number of copies 20. Then select the base and the text and click inverse selection to select all cylinders. Just for you to know, select the base, skip all the cylinders and use inverse selection to change the selection to save time and avoid selecting every item one by one. And then we need to merge it because we will cut out this from the base to create holes and for that use merge objects. Then select also the base and perform stitch and scope with option difference. Here in drop down select cylinders to cut them out and click apply. Now let's prepare it to 3D print for that object need to be solid. Select the base and text and perform match objects. Then we need to prepare the grid by using magic fix with tolerance 250. Note that with object which consists of many details, polygons, change the tolerance value gradually to ensure the operation is performed properly and avoid freezing of the editor. So that's all, today we have created such a great juicer, so hope you like it, comment, like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Also don't forget about the bell to see the tutorials first. Good luck and bye!